capital. Okay, first, I'll answer this, I mean, now, this somebody is asked, what kind of assurance to investors or entrepreneurs from government of AP? What kind of assurance to investors? Okay. Then how do you track single window issues and what kind of expedite process you have in place? See, first of all, as I said, I mean, one is investors or entrepreneurs. Our uh, assurance would be, I mean, 24 by 7, quality, reliable and affordable supply. So while, I mean, quantity is assured, quality, reliability and affordability also. So we are trying to see how best we can bring down the cost further by improving efficiency, reduction in losses and then better quality of supply. And then single window, yes, as I said, another thing which I forgot to mention, now government of India, sorry, our state government now, on 29th April, Honorable Chief Minister is launching the new industrial policy in which several incentives for industries are there. In that, major amongst them is a single desk system. Now, as we also know, I mean, industries face a lot of difficulties in getting various clearances. Among them, one is, of course, uh, I mean, power supply also. So now a single desk is being created in the Commission of Industries office. So he would be empowered that within 21 days, all the clearances have to be given. And in case within 21 days, the respective departments, whether it is Pollution Control Board clearance or, or Inspector of Factories or it is the distribution company, if they do, do not give the clearance within 21 days, the Commission of Industries is empowered that he can give a deemed clearance. So there is a deemed clearance clause. If the departments do not respond within 21 days, Commission of Industries can overrule and grant the clearance. So I think this is one of the best policies. You have to just wait for another three, four days on 29th in Vishakhapatnam. Honorable CM is launching the policy and then this single test would come into operation. So uh, as I said, uh, I mean, we have a long way to go. We have done something, but definitely always in the scope for improvement is here. So, I mean, quality of supply, reliability, more affordability, and the better quality of supply is what we can assure to all the industrialists. And regarding your question, sir, what do you do, propose to do with the surplus power? Number one, that is why we are requesting industries to come. Now that the power supply position is good, we have got a very transparent policy, transparent governance we are trying to give. So that's why, Honorable Chief Minister, we have already visited four or five countries now. We are asking investors, not to, I mean, domestic investors, definitely overseas investors in partnership with domestic investors to please come and set up the industries here so that the demand for power will grow. Plus agriculture also, all the pending connections, about 66,000 pending connections are there. We are going to release those agriculture connections. Plus domestic, about 5 lakh households are unelectrified. We are going to electrify all the households. Plus industries also, about 600 megawatt of application is pending. So it is already industries have applied, but we were unable to give earlier because power supply was not there. And second is because of transmission issues. As I said, transmission will be a focus now. So all those 600 megawatt, now we have asked them to release now. So 600 megawatt itself translates into almost 15 MU per day. Correct. So if we are able to release that and those industries are able to come up fast. I mean, most of these are expansion or some of them are new units as well. So I think definitely they would be there. And then plus, of course, yes. Uh, but see, of course, again, it depends on the weather situation also. Because see, I mean, Heidel, we really do not know how much of Heidel would be there. Rains we do not know. But now we have come to a situation wherein if God forbid, even if monsoon fails, I wish it does not fail and we should all pray for it. But even if there is a bad monsoon, even if there is a drought here, even if we are very poor in, uh, I mean, Heidel, even if uh, generation side there are some trippings, uh, now we would be having a spinning reserve. See, basically foreign countries, they are able to give 24 by 7 even if one unit tips. Our case is like we were just hand to mouth. If one unit tips, we always, I remember we used to give press statement, Tomorrow they have power cuts because Vijayawada 500 megawatt has tripped or NTPC Sibadri one unit has tripped. Now we need not, even if one or two or three units also tripped, we have sufficient spinning reserve. So I think that yeah. would really count. So since you're in a good mood, are you yeah. going to reduce the cross subsidy surcharge for, and allow open access? So I'm just taking advantage of your. With <laughs> that, I think the question, yeah, that's all. That is right. <laughs> Justice Bhavani Prasad would be coming in the afternoon. You can post to him. I do not. So, but it will need your blessings also, na, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then another question is: Old wind policy expired in April 2013. Yes, new policy is effective from 13th April, 13th February 2015. What about the status of projects commissioned in the intervening period? I think this is my friend should clarify, as he rightly said. Yeah. There was a new po old policy which has expired in, I mean, April 2013. Right? We have come up with a new policy. So generally, all the policies are prospective. Yes. So it comes from the day the, on which it is announced. Now the request to the developers is that those plants which have been commissioned during that period, that also those benefits would, should be made applicable. So 
this is I think the policy paradigm. I mean, when we have come out with a policy, anyway, we'll have a look at it. But as of now, any policy, it comes no, only prospective. Great. Sir, I think uh, uh, one of the things that you mentioned, since you have one single desk for the industries, I hope you're encouraging industry industrialization in the old days, 20 years, 30 years back, we used to have the small-scale industries, we used to develop entrepreneurs. I think the country needs to do that. Uh, but the questions now are getting more difficult. And uh, so I hope you will forgive me, but um, my job is I'm only just relating it. Can the government of AP assure timely payment monthly to the power producers, uh, especially solar power generation, since the overseas lenders want assurance from the government for timely payment? You will be paying. Naturally, any investor would like to have a, I mean, <coughs> payment security mechanism in place. And see, as of now, I mean, all our payments are update. So up to date, we have cleared all the up to the March payments. But yes, we are trying to create in systems. That's why we have gone for a nominal tariff increase also. Ideas that government is giving it subsidy in time. See, if the government gives it subsidy in time, if we are able to um, reduce our losses, and if we are able to pay, definitely we should be in a position to pay timely to the generators. And in fact, let me share with you one more thing, yeah, which is in the right context I remember now. Government of India and the 13th Finance Commission, they have granted 137 crores to the state for promotion of renewable energy. Towards that, we have released 70 crores now. We are releasing to the two distribution companies for having a revolving fund to make payment in time to the renewable generators, small generators. Because see, ultimately, when even if the money comes, the first priority goes to the NTPC and to the big generators. So therefore, to protect the concerns of the uh, small generators, particularly renewable energy generators, Government of India sanctioned a 70 crores renewable energy fund, which will be used as a revolving fund so that they can release it to the generators and when, because if there is a delay in getting uh, payments from the consumers or there is some delay in getting subsidy from the government, at least the renewable energy generators should get the payment on time. So this 70 crores Good. revolving fund is being created from this year onwards. One last question from my side, sir. On transmission, you mentioned green corridor, very important. Yeah. Uh, is this green corridor setting up also going to have private uh, transmission EPC contractors setting it up or it's only going to be the government who's going to do it? Hey, as of now, it is by the transmission company. Okay. So, EP Transco is doing or the power grid is doing and they are bidding it out, of course, on EPC basis. On EPC but basis. yes, you are very right. Now, public partner, private partnership in transmission also. Now, we are asking AP Transco to explore because mm -hmm. instead of putting their valuable resources into this on a PPP model like what Rajasthan has done or what Power Grid is doing, so we also intend to do that. But this green corridor, because it was so, I mean, important, that yes. straight away they had gone. And where is the funding coming from? Sir, funding is coming. 40% grant is being given by MNRE under National Clean Energy Fund. 40% is being funded by KFW Germany. Brilliant. And the 20% only the, the transco they are putting of their own internal resources. Which the so private I, investor could contribute. Okay. Excellent. I think we are done for the day. Uh, any other questions? Yes, you have one more. Hello? Quick, we are running behind scared. Hello? Yeah, this question is for Mr. Jain. Yeah, can you identify yourself, please? Yeah, my name is uh, Prasanna. I'm an American citizen. We came to invest in Andhra about a couple of years ago, maybe two, three years ago. But uh, the single window system, I think it is existing for quite a long time. The single window system, but doesn't work at all. I mean, my s application is there more than 20 months just for NOC, for deemed approval. And it uh, approved and by... Pollution control? Yeah, pollution control. I have pollution control approval. I have pollution control approval, but NOC from the Gram Panchayat. Okay. Yeah. It takes yeah, yeah. for no, deemed yeah. approval. No, just no. Let, me, let me do it. Yeah, sure. In December meeting, SIPB, that uh, State Investment Promotion Board, which is heading by Chief Minister, approved my company that he said, uh, give all the permissions what are required for this company. Until now, the file is not moving at all. Still at the Peshi. I don't know, I mean, I don't know what we need to do. 29th, wait till the 29th. The new we are waiting last 20 months. No, I will clarify. No, I fully and agree. Are you finished with the Yeah, and yeah. you have a process, but you need to make sure and the process have someone is uh, yeah. executing the and process. See, that's what I told in my presentation also. While the policy is good implementation, but as you rightly said, because the previous experience with single window only, now the single window has been converted as a single desk. So idea is because single window, what it used to do, it used to I mean, collect the applications from the person, from the individual applicant and send it to the various departments. And then it was at the mercy of the various departments. 
like as you rightly said gram panchayat has not given it cannot do anything except following it up or if electricity department has not given it could not do anything now the commission of industry single does he is being empowered that he can give a deemed clearance and it will be valid it will be binding on the person and then action would be taken on the agency which has failed to respond within 21 days so exactly you know you are very right and such kind of instances have come to the government that's why the cabinet has approved this policy and it is going to be launched on 29th and i'm sure that after that uh, when we meet next month your application would definitely have been cleared and not only yours similar cases would not arise in future also that is the whole intent of the government but as i as you rightly said ultimately whatever be however good the policy would be ultimately depends on the implementation the proof of the pudding lies in eating so ultimately it is the implementation which will see whether we are able to have a good policy or not but definitely we should be able to sir i'm sorry there are lot of questions but if you are, you have an option to answer them if you choose because yes. of shortage of time but uh, everyone wants to take advantage of this opportunity and these are basically on the uh, various uh, policy what we have announced wind and solar policy some of them we have launched them recently so as i rightly said there is some time lag between our announcement and the actual implementation but we are seized of this matters whether it is cost subsidy surcharge or transmission and wheeling charges and all and we will definitely sort it out and the regulatory commission is also coming in the afternoon so my request is some of them are in the domain of the regulatory commission because see whatever policies has been announced by us not for industrial promotion but for electricity sector it has to be approved by the regulatory commission also like for example we have exempted the transmission wheeling charges it has to be approved by the commission under section 108 we have given directions to the commission to adopt so they are going to take it up there is some time lag please bear with us in our announcements and the actual work on the field so within that one or two months while we would be seen as talking whereas you would be feeling that nothing is happening but things are taking place and my request would be pose these questions to justice bhavani prasad in the afternoon so definitely it will help our cause also thank you very much sir one round of applause for this fantastic panel